Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Burf, and I'm back again, baby. I'm back again with another vintage toy hunt adventure. So today I'm gonna be hitting up a few thrift stores in search of vintage toys. If you're new to the channel and you like thrift stores and you like vintage toys, you'll probably like my channel. So hit the subscribe button. But I'm gonna be hitting up a few stores today and I'm also gonna be meeting up with my buddy Keith, who I haven't actually had on the channel in a really long time. So uh, it was good to meet up with Keith. We actually did a trade. He picked up some things for me several months ago and I picked up some yo-yos for him back when he was actually collecting yo-yos. I think he's moved on past that now, but it's been months since we've actually met up with each other. And this was just a good opportunity to meet up, do our trade, you know, reconnect, share some stories. But I think you guys are gonna enjoy today's episode. So this first store we're gonna hit off, uh, we're gonna hit up is Old Thrifty Pants, Thrift Giants. So we're gonna head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. Keep our fingers crossed and pray that those vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Oh, check this little dude out. Does he work? No. He looks like he's a lot of fun. All right, we got all kinds of Halloween stuff out today. Ah, oh, that's a cool Mickey Mouse piece. I wonder if that's new or old. All right, let's see what we can find on these shelves. What kind of vintage goodness is waiting for us? Well, I'm actually seeing just a lot of little baby toys. What do we got down here? We got something. We got a Batman, some Treasure X stuff. Uh, we got a Chewbacca mask. Check that out. Looks like we got maybe something Marvel. And we got a unicorn. Oh, not a unicorn, a Pegasus. Oh, look at this. That's a cool looking Spider-Man. We got some Kylo Ren. What is this? Oh, uh, looks like Miles Morales. Oh, looky, looky. It's our boy, Buzz. Oh, wow. That looks old. That is heavy, man. Let's see. Pterodactyl made in China. That's a cool one. And we've got a few volcanic. we got a couple of dinosaurs, volcanic edition. And who's this guy? Maybe somebody from Fortnite. Maybe a Jurassic World. Got a dino. Oh, look at this guy. What well, not he neat? He's got like a rubber body. Plastic head. That's right up my alley. Well, I wasn't able to find anything on him, but he is a Radio Shack toy, which means he's probably fairly old. So I'm going to get him. I think he's just super awesome. Oh, check this out. I actually owned this hat at one point in time. There's a video on my channel where I'm wearing this hat and I'm looking for vintage toys and thrift stores all while chewing an entire pouch of Big League Chew. Like I put the whole pouch in my mouth and spent the whole episode chewing it. But anyway, brings back good memories. Uh, check him out. He blows bubbles, that's kind of fun, man. That looks old too. I have to do a little investigation into this. Oh wow, look at this. That's kind of crazy. It's got like a bobblehead. All right, so nothing big going on at Thrift Giant. No massive scores, but I did score some vintage toys. So let's do a little show and tell. Check these dudes out. Again, I have no idea what year this guy is from, which year either one of them are from. We'll get to him in just a second, but I'm pretty sure they're vintage. They're old, they look old. This one looks really worn out. I didn't really see any, it just says made in China on the bottom of it. So I don't know. I think he's pretty neat though, but he is heavy, holy cow. And then we have this ant right here. It's made by a company called eQuest. Also, uh, it's a Radio Shack product. And it has four little round, like those little cell batteries that go in here. I was going to buy some, but they're kind of expensive. It's like, 
I think it was like $18 for four batteries or something. I was like, well, maybe I'll wait and order them on Amazon at a cheaper price. But how cool is this guy? Oh my gosh, I just love these colors on him. The orange, the black, the yellow, the brown. Just so cool. And I don't know exactly what he does once he's got power going to him. But uh, I know like this back right here, I don't know if you can fill that up with goo. Oh yeah, is there, is there like gook in there already? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I can see it. That's kind of gross. <laughs> so anyway, he's gonna be eating the pterodactyl. He's attacking him. I don't know what kind of noises ants make, but anyway, uh, this is my haul from Thrift Giant. All right, gang, up next, the goody wheel. The goody wheel, baby. All right, my friends, we are here. The goody wheel, baby. Goody wheel gang, rise up. Hashtag goody wheel gang gang below in the comments. And join me in the anthem. What you got for me today, goody wheel? What you got for me today? What did I step on back here? Oh, I was like a water ball or something. Or a cup, like a big 7-Eleven Slurpee cup. All right, let's see what they got in here. Let's see what we can find. Maybe we can find some more Star Wars. We found a 1980 Adat Walker here. We found Jabba the Hutt here. So who knows what else could pop up. Oh, that would be uh, that would make a cool repaint for some Cobra vehicles from G.I. Joe. We got this red ninja clock, Lego clock. What else do we got? What's this down here? Oh, yeah, I saw him the other day. He's missing his arms. Oh, looky, looky. Okay, it's buddy. our boy Buzz. Oh, just go talk. Stay sharp. There could be danger lurking anywhere. I don't know these things talk. That's kind of cool. Trigger laser. Oh. Enable wing deployment. Stand back. Wings are deployed. Oh, that's cool. Check out this wingspan. Nice. Huh? Anybody seen a spork? Goes by the name. Spork. Oh, wow. He like walks too. Wow. Kind of makes me want to get it. Look at this. Let's get this off the top here. That's like another game. Let's see. Oh, wow. That looks heavy duty. I wonder what they want for that. Oh, that $12.99. Oh, wow. It's like a carrying case, too. And then underneath, we got 953 piece. Wow, light and sound. That's cool. Well, on average, they're selling for about 25 to 40 bucks. It's pretty awesome. I think I'm gonna leave it behind though. I just don't have any space for it. And I don't know how fast I could flip it. There's a ton of them listed on eBay, but there are a bunch of them selling as well. VCRs usually sell pretty well. I see them selling sometimes for 50, 60 bucks or more. They want $7.99 for it. Mono VCR, low. Low hours. What does that mean, low hours? Like it wasn't used very much? Oh, we got an old disposable camera that looks like you can take underwater. That NASCAR racetrack thing was pretty cool. Just not something I need in my life right now, although it would have been cool to get it, set it up and actually play with it a little bit. I thought it looked like it was a lot of fun. So anyway, I think we should go meet up with Keith. I think it's time to meet up with Keith and do this trade that we've been working on for months now. All right, guys, I got the bag in hand. Now it's time to find Keith. Well, that's his green van, but he's not here. He must be inside. Oh yeah, there's a bag of goodies. Well, you can't, all you see is my reflection. There we go, bag of goodies in there. Well, here he comes. Must've been finding all kinds of good stuff in there. Carson already picked it clean. Carson. He comes here every day. If there's been... anything to be had here, he has it in his house. <laughs> what have you been up to? 
That's uh, working mostly. Yeah. Fans on the channel want to know where Keith is. Uh, I'm just out <laughs> and about. Like, I haven't seen Keith in a long time, man. Nah. Dude, I got your. Cool. Hey, I finally found that Rough Riders baseball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not that you're into collecting those anymore. No, don't put that on my Rough Rider shelf. <laughs> cool. It's great. Yeah. Yeah, there's some string in there. That little book, yeah. Yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. Some goods in there. I got some stuff over here. Oh, that's that game you were saying. Didn't you say this was yeah. like one of the best baseball yeah. games ever made or something? Well, for the, I think the, the PlayStation games for the baseball is a lot more realistic. Yeah. So. That's cool. And then, oh, we got the Sun Man. Dude, I felt like it was forever ago. It was. When you bought this. <laughs> oh, and there's the G.I. Joes that we missed on the last meetup. Look at that. Yeah, that was my bad. Nah, it was all good. I, you got these at Always, right? Um, oh, dirt cheap. No, you got them at dirt cheap. They're out of. They're like out of business now or something. Well, it's not. They're definitely going that way. A bunch of them closed. Yeah, I know. The one in Denton closed. That's the one I used to go to. Oh, snake eyes. What makes it such a good yoga? Uh, well, if it's, we'll try this one and see if it's got if it works. Um, yeah, it probably. Probably does. Does it glow in the dark? Uh, this one I don't think does, but it has a, there, there's more modern ones now, but when this one first came out, yeah, it has this little clutch in it. Let me see. This little piece right here. Oh, okay. And that allows it to spin freely. They, they do that same thing now, but instead they put like a ball bearing in it, but it helps you spin longer and do tricks faster. Uh, okay. With more ease. So instead of like struggling to make it spin, it just spins. And then how do you get it back up? A little tug. See, I've done that and I can't get them to come back up. Practice. Yeah. And when these right here stops coming back to you, you can just put a little bit of two-in-one oil or a little dab of like petroleum jelly or something in that little thing and it'll, and it'll, loosen it'll start it up. working again. That's cool. But this one works good. Yeah. This would be my new, new one new. that I leave out. <laughs> and I got you a little bonus. Oh, what'd you get? Well, I bought this and I tested it and it works and everything. It's good. Okay. But I am never going to play it. It's what is one it? of those impulse things. Uh, I know you have okay. one, but this one actually has a lot of games that I think yours doesn't have. Wow. Yeah, this secret quest, it doesn't have that. Frogger actually is on there. Oh, here's the back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And these Activision games, they're on there. Oh, that's cool. What's this? Uh, Saboteur. Yeah, I've played that. That's a fun game. Awesome, man. Thanks well, for man, I have Activision games on this one. There's one that has River Raid on it. If I ever found that one, I'd probably get it because that was like my favorite game. Was it? River Raid. Yeah, I played that thing for half. Is that the one where you like a boat going down the river? Yeah, you're a little airplane and you're flying down oh, the rivers. And yes. Wide and the farther you get in the game, the more narrow they get. Yeah. And these other planes come in and yeah. bomb you and crash into you. I know land. exactly what you're talking about. I spent hours playing that one. On this one, the game I probably played the most back in those days. Well, Asteroids. I rolled Asteroids 12 yeah. times back to zero once. Really? Yeah, I could play that game with my feet and beat anybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, man, I don't know. Outlaw's pretty good. Outlaw. Oh, yeah. I like that one. Yeah, it's a two-player game. I tried doing it where you play the computer and it doesn't work. You know, I don't remember a lot of these games, but I did. I, football and the baseball are the crappiest looking games there are, but I still played the crap. Yeah. Those. Space Invaders, of course. Yeah. It's funny, uh, Atari systems in general are not very popular. Like, people don't want them. You know, That's you can. They were the beginning of the, you know, the. Uh, the video home, game revolution. Yeah. The advanced home one. Before, we just had, like, Pong. 
Right. And I had like a Radio Shack version of Pong, and we played it all the time. Yeah. And then this kid, I mean, kids would come over and we'd play it and play it and play it. And then one of my friends got an, an actual Atari. And then, like, I would, my my house was deserted. <laughs> Pong was just a thing of the past. Right. But, yeah, my, uh, my uncle, my dad's youngest brother, he's like 17 months older than me. Um, we used to, when I was a kid, we'd go to my grandparents and we'd play, play it all the time. But he had a Pong. Yeah. Like, but they were, like... He had Pong, but it was like, I think they got it at a yard sale or something. They, they were pretty, they were, didn't have a lot of money. So Pong was like the video game that he had, you know what I mean? And then he'd come to our house and play Atari. But Well, Pong was a big deal. My brother got that Pong game. He was already moved out, you know, and he got that Pong game. And then he actually went and bought an Atari and he gave me the Pong game. Oh, did That's he? That's how I wound up with it. Oh, wow. And I just had this little crappy black and white TV. Just Which was it fine because the game was in black and white. Yeah, man. But mine was cool because it had little switches on it to where you could uh, change it from just like a two to like four. Yeah. And then you could change the size of the of the paddle. Right. To be real small or real big. And we got so good at it, we just quit playing with the big ones. And we just only played with the tiniest ones yeah. just to make it fun. Right. Yeah, Pong was all right. I enjoyed playing it. Actually, I wouldn't even mind getting a Pong system. Yeah, if you could find one. I mean, I think they have some that are like, you know, retro, you know, yeah. blast from the past type units yeah. that you can buy. I haven't seen an actual unit in a long time. Yeah, I'm sure if you go on eBay. Andy made a bunch of them for Radio Shack. And, oh, did they? Yeah, but you have to have a special connector to hook it. Oh, well, one yeah. of your TVs will probably work. It has to have those two screws on the mm -hmm. back. <clears throat> and then you'd probably have to, you know, if you could find the little adapters, they're probably all, you know, corroded out and yeah by now yeah. hook it up to the tv or you have to rewire something to make it work or right. retro madness probably has an adapter or something yeah i uh, up to it. speaking of that i saw eric from horror freak yesterday at the show and he was saying that he just ran into you at the sh at the at his store like oh, not yeah. too long ago yeah i go in there pretty about once a week yeah um, he usually has some godzilla stuff or i look at their movies i got a really good selection of movies in there yeah they do um but every once in a while they'll have some godzilla stuff in there and i'm kind of on a godzilla, godzilla thing right now is it just godzilla or are you doing king kong Hong kong too? but not the big giant ones just the smaller right you know versions of it i just have a few yeah and uh i'm not really collecting anything except migos still. yeah that's Old a, Migos. one of my friends, Franco, he goes by Franco Blondie. He, uh, it's all he buys in it. He's like, I just buy Migos. I don't buy anything else. I don't buy a lot of the new ones because the bodies, they've changed them. Yeah. You can't take them apart and build other characters with them anymore. They've made them where the, uh, you can't take them apart anymore. They're more like a NECA type body now. Yeah. So if you break an arm off, that just gone it. done yeah. yeah the other ones you could like oh, i got an extra one here i'll just put it on there right you know but i still collect the old ones i'm gonna put these in my car real quick i'll be right back so keith and i were just kind of shooting the shit in the parking lot catching up on things and i said hey why don't we go in the store and check it out so we headed into thrift giant to take a look around and truth be told remember those dinosaurs that were there earlier this morning whenever i First popped in there, those red and orange looking dinosaurs. Well, I kind of want them. So I'm going to head back into the store, see if they're still there and pick them up if they are. Check out the Marilyn Monroe. This one, which one's your favorite, Keith? If you had to pick. Um, I'd probably just buy them all. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one there. Damn, Marilyn. What's this one here? Oh, that's like from her famous scene. Yeah. Where her skirt blows up. That's a nice one. Over there. I don't know that they're thirty-four dollars. Awesome. Right. Yeah, that's a lot for. So, that's the thing too. These collectors plates. Nobody collects so those them. Are plates. Yeah. yeah. It's like they're so hard to sell. Like because nobody really wants them. I almost bought these earlier when I was in here. I should maybe just get them. They're old, old vintage. I don't know if they're. I don't think they're imperial. Oh no, they are imperial. Alright, well, maybe I will buy them. Oh, they don't have, they don't have stickers on them. There's another, these are uh, made by 
a line called Treasure X. Yeah, they, uh, I don't know, did you see that video where I found those $2 figures at Walmart? That, that Spider-Man they made, I don't even know, it was like a different version of Spider-Man. I can't remember what he's called, oh, but the, anyway, his- the clearance ones that you found that yeah, day? Yeah, and it was like, uh, his eyes were like real big and goofy looking. That seems to be the way they do these, a lot of these action figures. Yeah. Yeah, I thought maybe that might, I saw him here yesterday. He might be Action Man, maybe. Yeah, he's Action Man. Cool helmet though. Yeah, this is a cool helmet, that. yeah. Man, I am so glad that I went back for those dinosaurs because they are really awesome. Like, I don't know what it is about those 1970s, 80s dinosaurs that I love so much. I guess maybe just it just it's just because I played with these types of dinosaurs when I was a kid. But these things are super colorful, man. They're so bright red and like that yellowish orange color. It just looks awesome. Let's check them out. First up, we've got Sun Man and the Imperial Dinosaurs. I can't believe I almost passed up these dinos. Look how good they look with Sun Man over here. How awesome is that? They're like the same colors pretty much. Oh yeah, that looks super, super cool. So first, that's the first Sun Man figure I've ever owned. So didn't have Sun Man as a kid. Didn't have him as an adult either until Keith picked him up for me. So Keith, if you're watching, thank you very much, sir. But we ended up picking up these dinos and then did the trade with uh, for Sun Man. I also got some GI Joes out of this. Look at how good these reaction figures look with these vintage, with the vintage GI Joe vehicles. Look how cool that is. So this is the Warthog. If you guys remember, I picked this up a little while back and uh, picked it up bare bones. And I ended up getting a bunch of parts on eBay for like 35 bucks. But the only thing I think I'm still missing is just this piece right here. I don't think there's anything else missing from it. Maybe if you guys are watching, you can tell me. But I think everything is there except for this hatch. And I've been looking all over for it and can't find it. If any of you guys have this piece of the Warthog and you wanna do a trade for something, let me know. But uh, they look pretty good in the vehicles. And then we've got Roadblock and Flint over here. How cool is that? I found this in a thrift store as well. So got this and this both at the thrift store, baby. You can't beat it. Overall, I would say today was a successful day. Got some cool trades, picked up some cool things at the thrift store. Just, yeah, all around good trip. Hey, if you've enjoyed watching this content as much as I've enjoyed making it for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. That helps me out. It does help my channel grow and I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, also, if you uh, like this video, I've got like over 900 videos on this channel that you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're gonna love it.